headed to a new segment made up by our producer. Wait. It says Morse Minute is two. No, you gotta go by right the number system. This oh is my not even numbers. Oh my god. Yeah. Murph is the star, I'm the co-star. It's like Ryan Seacrest to Kelly Ripa. I, Michael Strahan, when he was with Kelly, she's forever Kelly, and I'm forever the person that's filling in the seat next to her. That's what we learned, right? Well, anyway, so welcome to the Murph and Tour Show. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube. I don't know, a lot of people don't know what that is. There's a lot of old timers that watch our show that may be just getting into the internet. I'm going on in, uh, on net, on um, email. I'm going on web, on net. You want to log on? I don't know how. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right, right? So there's a little button on the side of YouTube that says subscribe. So you've got... <laughs> tell them what to do. You tell them. So you go... <laughs> so you go to it and click it. And that means you're subscribing to us. And then you can even go further and give us a thumbs up, the like button. We appreciate it. If you want to make a comment about what your favorite part of the show is, we would want that too, right? Right? Um, summer's coming. It's quick. It's coming full force ahead. We're getting right to the longest day of the year, June 21st. I think that's the longest day. I love the longest day of the year, but the sad part is the next day is shorter. All right, that was negative. But anyway, so what are your summer plans, Murphy? What are your summer plans? What are your summer plans? Okay. All right, so the new segment is what the kids are saying. How do you do, fellow kids? What? What the kids are saying, new segment, here we go. What is it? What is this? This is a segment where we give you some words, what the kids are saying, and mm -hmm. you have to guess and see what they're saying. Okay. All right, we're going to go with easier, getting to more difficult. Oh, God. Not um, always. Bay. Bay, that's easy. That's your boo. Right? Your girlfriend your, or your husband or boyfriend. What's it, like, stand for, though? You may know what bay stands for, like the three letters. Yeah. B-A-E. Yeah. Booty. <laughs> Baby. Something, everything. Always. Baby. <laughs> Before anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get that in what you're saying. Thirsty. Like when people are saying. I'm thirsty. Thirsty. Like TH. Thirsty. Like normal spelling, thirsty. There, can you use it in a sentence? No, can you use it in a sentence? This show is thirsty. I'm thirsty for this show would work. Thirsty for the show, so it's like you're quite, you're craving something? Yes, that's pretty close. It's trying to get attention. Okay. Uh, is that really, really big saying right now? Yes, yeah, big. <laughs> Where do you get these? T. T E A. Don't spill the tea? Yeah, but what is tea? The goods? Kind of. Aw, oh, the good. What's the tea, Murphy? Tell me. I don't know what the tea is. Gossip. Like gossip. Oh, don't spill the tea. It is yeah, gossip. That's not a new thing. That's like from 1942. Oh, right. <laughs> like, that's what All grandma right. told their sons um, what? when they were young. They'd be like, don't spill the tea. Don't tell your mom what we did today. You think it's an old sign? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's back. Karen. Karen. Don't be a Karen. Yeah. Don't be a. Don't be party pooper. <laughs> you're Karen. Are you Karen right now? Is that what it is? Like pretty you're much. Spoiler. You're spoiling fun. Yeah, they would say Karen is somebody who would return their their soda or something for like having too little ice. Oh yeah, like someone who's just so a complainer and a downer and yeah. 
nitpicky. So don't be a Karen. I'll never be a Karen. Um, turn. T U R N T. This isn't new. This is what I used in 2000 when I was going to the clubs. Getting turned. Getting crazy. <laughs> right? Bet. Bet. Yes. That means yes. That means yes. That's me. I learned that from Joey Cohen. And shout out to our employee. I'm down. Down. Use it in a sentence. Hey, you gonna come over to the house tonight? Bet. You up? Bet. <laughs> Snatch. Snatch? Snatch. Grab it. It's grabbing. That outfit is snatched. It's fly? Yes. Very fashionable. So, they got rid of fly and they say snatch now? Snatch, yep. Flies out? Flies out. Fleek. What about fleek? That's no, out. that's old. So, is that it? That's it for a segment. I like the segment. I think you gotta get some newer terms. A lot of those are not even on point anymore. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. What this? All right, so we'll go to our third segment. It's Merce Minute. So Merce's gonna bring it to you outside today. We're gonna head outside and Merce is gonna do her minute for you. and had that hunkering for something sweet. <laughs> hankering, <laughs> hankering. <laughs> have you ever had that hankering for something sweet? Well, we have the thing for you. Farm to spoon ice cream. Doesn't it sound good? <laughs> pika, 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 pika. Well, it's something. This treat is made from only the best ingredients that won't leave you feeling upset. It's made from plants. Can you believe it? I put it. This cauliflower and plant medley will have you down in pints. Available at your local Whole Foods. Do it. Let me try it. I won't have it. Should I have it right now? I'm just going to tell you guys. I saw this caption, Farm to Moon Online, chocolate chip cookie dough. I figured I'll try it out. So I get it at home, and then I see down in the fine print, made with cauliflower and other vegetables. So I was like, this is me disgusting because I don't like the cauliflower chips, cauliflower, any of that stuff that they make from cauliflower or rice, get out of here. I don't like any of it. So I was like, great, I bought this ice cream that cost me $6 for these two little pints, by the way. It's a little expensive, a little pricey, but what are you gonna do when you're at Whole Foods? So I'm gonna try it. It's banging. It's so good. You never know there's any vegetables in it. It's every ingredient is basically a vegetable besides the agave. I think agave is like some sort of <laughs> I'm an idiot. I don't know. <laughs> but whatever. Just try the ice cream farmer spoon. Good, good, good shit. All right. Kid show. We are on to the fourth, fifth thing. Beach summer would you rather. Beach summer would you rather? How do I play? All right. <laughs> so there's a list of seven items in front of you. Yeah, I see them. You only can have three for a beach day. I got that. So list them first. So you can bring sunglasses, lotion, chair, towel, booze is like one thing of a drink. Yeah. So a drink. Like beers. Beers, but or water or milk or um, depending on your choice, that's one option. So you get only one drink of choice? Yes. So, booze, water, or milk, 
Sandwiches or ch and chips? Food. Basically, sandwich and chips, though. That's the food option. Oh, that's all you can have. I'm sorry. Yeah. Brian, Brian picked the menu when it's sandwich and chips. Toys. All right. So you're going to list those for people? Yeah, they'll be listed right there on the side. Pico, pico, pico. Okay, so my choices are easy, peasy. I can't believe sunglasses in this. It's so crappy. What do you mean? I don't want to waste that as a choice, but it's like you have to have sunglasses. So sunglasses, socks. Towel. I'm not going. You didn't put a book. I'm staying home. <laughs> what am I going to do? Stare all day at the ocean? <laughs> I don't know. But is that what people do? I need a book on this list. Can I add it? You can do anything. It's your show. I'm adding a book. Sunglasses, towel, book. I need a water. This is crap. The sunglasses should not be on the list. It's a given. Take it back. <laughs> sunglasses, towel, water. I gotta freaking watch the ocean. I can't bring a book because of sunglasses. So you're not gonna sit in a chair? I never, I don't have to sit in a chair. It's called the Diggle Hole. I learned this in San Diego, sunny San Diego, because me and you went. You dig a hole deep in the ground and you make it like arched so your back has something to land and it's like this. It's like a portable chair. You just make it yourself. DIY sand chair. Don't say I never taught you anything. It's awesome. And then you lay your towel in the hole and you just chill there like this. <laughs> What's Murphy bringing? If she had the chill. Murphy, what are you bringing? Murphy? Murphy? What are you going to bring to the beach, girl? So you're pointing to toys on the beach book. She's going to bring toys. Obviously, a towel. No. Toys, she doesn't care about towel. She's gonna bring food for, and her bottle. That would probably be my guess for her. She isn't easy, she can't read yet. It's hard. This is, I guess I won't be able to read on the beach, so it's fine, because I'm gonna have to watch this Chica now. My beach days are home for Chica. All right, good segment there. I hope you enjoyed the show. Murphy, did you like the show? We'll do a closing song here. Murphy's favorite song, just to make her happy. Are you ready? Are you ready? Mickey's playing at the clubhouse, yes indeed. Mickey's playing at the clubhouse, yes indeed. Mickey's playing at the clubhouse, it's the Miska Miska Mouse House. Mickey's playing at the clubhouse, yes indeed. Yeah! All right, let's say bye to the people. Come on, let's wave to them. Thanks for watching everybody. See you maybe next week or the week after. We kind of been doing an every other week pattern, so. Yay! Good job! Say bye people. Thanks for watching me. I love you all. What the kids are saying.